When we think about the types of work that convicts did after being transported to Australia, we usually think of backbreaking tasks like building roads. So it may come as a bit of a surprise to learn that the images in this beautiful watercolour album were actually the product of convict labour. Joseph Lysett was a talented artist, but was convicted of forging pound notes in 1811. For his crime, he was transported to New South Wales to serve a 14-year prison sentence. Once in Australia, Lysett showed good behaviour and earned his ticket of leave. But he couldn't help himself, and in 1815 he was convicted of forgery again and sentenced to three years hard labour in Newcastle. While imprisoned in Newcastle, Lysett's skill as an artist was noticed by Captain James Wallace. Wallace was keen to show that he could keep the peace between the convicts in his care and the local Indigenous people. So he allowed Lysett to observe and paint the Indigenous people as his punishment. The paintings Lysett completed are included in this album, and they show the everyday activities of the Awabakal people, including land management, hunting and gathering food, socialising and rituals. Lysett must have had a good relationship with the Awabakal people because he spent a lot of time with them and he had access to some situations that other people might not have been able to see. Although we'll never know the exact circumstances of how well they actually got on. Lysett's work was not very popular with audiences at the time. They were used to seeing attractive pictures of the plants and animals of the colony. For them, his pictures were sometimes hard to understand and he didn't sell many. Today, Lysett's images are an important historical record they give us a detailed insight into what everyday life was like for the Indigenous people in the Newcastle area at a time when the world was changing rapidly around them. Through these works, we can learn about their social interactions and customs during the first 10 or 15 years of European settlement in the area. So, over a period of about 200 years, Lysett's paintings have gone from almost unsellable to invaluable.